And now I'm here in the kitchen with Tiffany. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I totally appreciate it. What are we gonna make today? Uh, we're making um, rosettes, which is a family recipe that has been handed down four generations in my family and that we make at the bakery now. Oh, nice, and these are not your typical baked cookies. How do we make them? Um, well, what we do, with the ingredients are very simple, so we just mix a few ingredients together, whisk it in a bowl, um, and then we fry them. All so, right. Yeah, very simple. Anybody can do it at home with the ingredients you probably have in your pantry. All right, well, let's put them together. We'll start with the flour. And it's just a very, very simple batter. And then we'll add our milk. Two eggs. Do you use whole milk or 2% or? I'm a full fat kind of girl. All right. I'm always gonna use the full fat milk. Uh, half teaspoon vanilla and then sugar. And when we put sugar, we always wanna balance it out with a little salt. Right. And that's not a lot of sugar. No, it's just a teaspoon. Right. But we'll hit it with sugar at the end. All right, plenty of sugar yeah. <laughs> coming on yeah, later. you betcha. So the batter is very thin. It's not gonna be like a cookie dough or like a, even like a cake batter. And even honestly, it'll be thinner than even like a pancake batter. Really? Yeah, it's pretty thin. So, and that's all there is to it. The batter's ready and we're ready to fry. Great. Let's get started. All right, and we are going to fry our rosettes. We've seen the, exactly what we're looking for here. You've got a pan of uh, vegetable shortening that's been heated up to about 350 yep, to, degrees. Yep, 350 degrees. Our irons have been sitting in the oil, so they're nice and hot. All right, so that's important that the irons are hot and nice and grease covered, right? Correct. So I'm just gonna dip it in the batter and place it in the grease. You can see the grease is ready to go and then it'll just kind of cook and then it'll loosen up just a little bit. I'm just gonna give it a little. Oh, perfect, look at that. Push with my tongs. All right, I'll trade you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take the snowflake and do the same thing. Make sure you dab the grease off of the rosette iron because you don't want it to um, change the consistency of your batter. And also you wanna make sure the batter does not come up over the top of the rosette iron, otherwise it will absolutely not come off and it won't pop off like it's doing here. All so I'm right. just gonna give it a little jiggle, and there's I can the see the one. hand of experience. That probably takes a little bit of practice. It does, it. yeah. And so I'm gonna just do another one here. Okay. And while that's frying, I'm just gonna keep an eye on the brownness, on the doneness on that one. And then when I feel like it's brown enough for me, I'm gonna flip it. And these are best fresh, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. The shelf nice. life is not like wonderful on them. They're not gonna be a cookie that you can keep out for a week and it's gonna be fine. My family likes them the same day, um, but you know, I've never turned down a rosette that was two, three days old, that's for sure. <laughs> well, this so. seems like it would be a wonderful activity to do at a cookie party because you could be frying them, people could be eating them fresh. It's so fun it's to watch. It's interactive. There's kind of a little bit of a technique to it that you gotta kind of figure out. I think that would be a really fun idea to do. Let's just keep making them. This is great. All right, so this is the final touch, just a little powdered sugar on top. Yep, this is it. So you can have as much or as little powdered sugar as you like, we like a lot. And then it looks like snow on the snowflakes coming down. Yeah, it's wonderful. And you don't even need to wait until they're cool before you do this, right? Well, no, we, we have a hard time waiting right? at the bakery and in my family. <laughs> we don't wait very long, so. All right, well, go. I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna have one too. Mm. Oh, they are so light. They just melt in your mouth. Tiffany, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Happy holidays. You too. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm.